Welcome to Hobby Princess. My name is Grace and I'm glad to have you join me today. You know what? I was just thinking the other day, I haven't shown very many dolls recently and I think it's about time to share them. What do you think, Mr. C? Good idea. I love dolls. And I have a really special doll to share with you. She is a part of the It's a Small World doll collection. And we miss a Disney store here in Canada. We had many Disney stores and unfortunately they're all gone. But back in the day when we did have the Disney stores, they had this collection and they had some really beautiful dolls. And we got a chance to get a couple of them. In particular, this one. She's adorable and she's from France. And honestly, these dolls are gorgeous. They look like they jumped out the ride and landed in a box just for me. <laughs> so I invite you to join me and see what I have to share with you today. Let's begin. My royal friends, before I unbox this beautiful doll, I just want to show how pretty the packaging is. And as you can tell, it's inspired by the actual ride, the design that's on the, the walls. What do you think, Mr. C? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. And as you can tell, here in the bottom it says... It's a small world, France. <laughs> or shall we say France. And the art designer of this ride was Mary Blair. So I love the way that they have paid homage to the you know, the designer and the actual ride with this packaging. So I'm going to show the box on the side here. And then here's the other side. And here's the back. Just gives you a little bit of a story. Just focus in a couple seconds there for you. Yes. There you go. All right. Interesting to read. Yes. And I am going to unbox this. Now, I have unboxed it before. Um, because this doll was purchased, I believe it was in 2014, and it was in celebration of the 50-year anniversary of the It's a Small World ride that debuted in Disneyland. So uh, I was just worried that the batteries were going to corrode, so I had to remove it from the box and take those batteries out. And she does sing It's a Small World, after all, in both English and Francais, but because of copyright concerns, I'm not going to play it. But for all of us who know that beautiful song, we can already hear it in our head, don't we? <laughs> now I am going to unbox this beauty. Stay tuned. Here she is out of the box. She looks adorable. I love her. She's got a super cute face. Honestly, I love it. Let's start from the top, shall we? She's got a really pretty feather hair accessory on the top of her head. And her eyes are beautiful. I really like the, the paintwork to her eyebrows. Really nice, defined look to the eyebrows. Some pretty blush to her cheeks and a little nice little lip color to her lips. She is so precious. And let's take a look at her hair. She's so cute. Look at the sides. It's got the little curl on each side. <laughs> I love it. And yes, she is dressed as a can-can dancer. She's got a nice little choker with a diamond pendant in the center there. Really pretty. And a pink satin dress. And her puffy sleeves are made of organza material and she has a little detailing like a like a little embroidering or lacy finish to it along the top of her dress really pretty now this is a really nice touch that I noticed too is that there's a little rubber band around wrapped around her little wrists left and right and let's see if I think this one's a little bit easier to move yeah as you can tell and that little rubber band is holding on to her dress, one side and the other. And that's because it's to give a little bit of a lifting effect because she's dancing, right? She's a can-can dancer. So that little, little touch is really, really cute. So she's holding her dress up and she's, you know, ready to kick her feet and dance. Really, really cute. I love that. Really nice touch. And here you can see a little bit of her tulle underskirt, the little bit of the lining underneath that too. And look at the stockings. She's got cute little fishnet stockings. Super, super cute. <laughs> and she has those little flats on, little dancing flats. Love it. I'm going to turn it around. And you can see her pretty long hair. It's done up in a little ponytail. I would like to have this hold up on its own, but it can't. It'd be nice if there was a little doll stand, you know, so I could didn't have to hold it the whole presentation. But this is adorable. Now, there is a little singing effect to this. If you press your little tummy... Uh, this adorable little doll sings in both English and Francais. And of course, she sings It's a Small World After All. Due to copyright concerns, I'm not going to play it. I don't feel comfortable doing so. But she does sing that beautiful song, and I love it, honestly. And we love this ride. Right, Mr. C? Yeah, it's very nice. 
I guess what I want to ask my royal friends is, do any of you have any of these collector dolls? I would love to hear from you. And again, this is a 50 year anniversary edition. And you know what? The first time I went on this ride, I always thought, wouldn't it be amazing if they sold these dolls, these characters as dolls? They'd be adorable. And they finally did that. I'm really happy about it. Thank you for joining us today. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like, share, and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And for all of you who have subscribed to our channel, thank you everyone. You truly are my royal friends. And again, please let us know in the comments below if you have any of these dolls with respect to the It's a Small World doll collection. I'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for our next video. On behalf of my husband, Mr. Cameron, and myself, we wish you lots of happiness. Bye for now. Mwah.